here is we have the vertex, negative two, negative two, and we have the point, negative one, one. And what they're asking us to do is find the polynomial that has a vertex of negative two, two, and goes through the point, negative one, one. Um, so a couple things you need to remember, what is even the vertex and what is even a point? Well, let's say I was just gonna graph a regular parabola. The vertex, remember, is either your minimum or your maximum, depending on what kind of parabola you have. And um, for this equation, my vertex is my lowest point. It's the minimum, it's the minimum value, um, output value of your function, or the maximum. Here, it's going to be my minimum value of my parabola. And then a point, if you guys remember, when you're thinking about a graph, a function or a graph is made up of infinite many points. So there's points all over here. And when I'm figuring out, you know, what a, a point is, a point on the line or not, it's 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 on the line if it makes your equation or your function equal. Like, uh, if I was gonna, you know, uh, well, let's say if I did f of x equals x squared, and I said, is the point um, two comma four on that graph? Well, you plug in four for f of x equals two squared. Since that's true, right, my point 2.4 is on my graph, right? So you plug in this for your x and this for your f of x. So what does that really mean when we have here? Well, uh, when your vertex, now I'm looking at your standard form, what can I plug my vertex in? Well, when you're reading the definition for your vertex form, your vertex comes at a point of h comma k. Now, I really want to make sure I show this to you. I'm going to plug in my h comma k. So I do f of x equals a. And one common thing that I always like to tell my students is whenever you're plugging a number in, please put it in parentheses. So it's going to be x minus h, which is a negative 2, squared plus k. And the reason why I want to show you to put things in parentheses is because so many students say, oh, that's a negative h, or that's a negative 2, so it's x minus 2, right? Makes sense. That's a negative 2, x minus 2, or x minus h. It makes sense. However, the formula says x minus h. Your h is a negative 2. So in reality, these two are actually going to cancel out to give you a positive, right? So I actually am going to have x equals x plus 2 squared minus 2. Right, you know, plus negative, really bad. So that's so far what I have. That's me including the vertex, where the vertex is of h is negative two and my k is negative two. Well, since I since I'm telling you this point is on the graph, I know that this is my x value and this is like we say our y value, right? But we're talking about functions here, so we can rewrite this as f of x. So just like how I did for this problem, I can plug in, since we know or we're assuming this point is on the graph, I can plug negative one in for x and one in for f of x, leaving me a. So I have one equals a times negative one plus two squared minus two. So now what I have to do is just solve for a. One equals a negative 1 plus 1 is 1 squared minus 2. 1 squared is going to be 1, so I'll add the 2. 3 equals a, because 1 squared is 1, 1 times a is a. So therefore, now I know what a is. So to find my equation, f of x equals um, 3 is my a, x plus 2 squared plus, I'm uh, sorry, minus 2. So that's going to be your final function. Now, one student, some students have asked me, why don't you put in those points? Why aren't they back in your equation? Well, remember, this is a general equation for your parabola. A parabola contains infinite many points. There's, mul there's millions, infinite many points that make up that parabola. So this is just one point that's on the graph. There's multiple of them. So when I'm just asking for what is the general formula, there's only one vertex. There's only one minimum point, which was negative 2, negative 2. And, um, but there's infinite many x's and f of x's. So that's why we leave those open in your equation or in your function. So the standard form of this function or the polynomial would be 3 times x plus 2 squared minus 2. Right. But do you kind of follow what I did? Yeah.
Uf. Usa. <risa>